All right, hello and welcome to another system showcase. This time uh, concerning the block project uh, dubbed World Beautification Block C project. So I'm trying out a new format here, first making a overview video to kind of give a brief explanation of everything and also an intro to the project and then going over a more in-depth videos with um, parts of the system. So in this video, I wanna go over the project brief project goals, the beautification system, uh, visual vertical slice, and the showcase of the system. So uh, the project brief uh, consists of three main points, um, white box in, art out, work with this level designers, and gothic theming. The last one was added by myself. This was just to give myself an indication of, okay, this is the visuals I'm going with. Now the first one, white box in, art out, as demonstrated by that little graphic there, basically means that the designers would be able to give their white boxes and the tool would be able to convert them to, well, art, so to say, um, or art of a higher art pass. So that's what that point means. Working with level designers basically meant, okay, um, learn their pipeline, see what kind of things they would need for the tool, what kind of problems they run into with your tools, and yeah, kind of learn how it works out when you work with them. And Gothic theming, again, it's just a visual theme of, okay, this is the architecture I will be using for these structures. Now, uh, project goals. Um, this was the initial list, so decorated rooms and corridors would mean, okay, the system takes in the white boxes and um, gives back the art assets, so it places art assets all over the place and makes it look fancy. Um, I had stretch goals such as the pillar editor. This would mean that the user would be able to make pillars himself inside of the tool. Different corridor types. Initially, there was the idea that we had different visuals. So one would be a nature formation type of deal. So you'd be able to switch corridors, for instance, between Gothic corridors and uh, cave-like formations. And the last one was Unreal Integration. So the tool would work in Unreal, the designer would be able to take his white box, put it in the tool, and it would work. Now, in week one or two, I quickly realized that this was way over scope, so I scrapped all of it and um, remade three points. So these points were a strong importing system, instance or placement points, and a visual vertical slice. So the strong importing system meant I wanted to make a um, system that can import the geometry from Unreal, clean it up, add usable info, and then throw it into the instance or placement point system. The reason I wanted to do a strong importing system is because I want to be able to reuse it in later projects. The instance and placement points meant I would take the geometry made by the importing system and then turn it into points I could later place art assets on. The visual vertical slice was kind of a proof of concept to show this is what the art is going to look like if the tool is fully finished. So the beautification system or placement system as it is currently called, it would import white boxes, clean the geometry, create placement points and asset placement so it would place the assets. Currently the first three steps are uh, fully done and the last step I'm still working on. So the visual vertical slice, you can see it in the image on the right, um, the proof of concept. So kind of me showing, okay, this is what's gonna happen once the tool is finished. Styling meant I wanted to also show them, okay, this is how the art is gonna look. This is how you could place the assets. So all the pillars are made inside of Maya and are just imported in Houdini, input in the tool and the tool adapts to it. Research was um, to showcase that I did research was one of the things I wanted to do this project to see how I could um, take research and apply it into Houdini within the time span. <coughs> and then usage relates to how the designer would use the tool. So currently that isn't part isn't fully finished. I'm still working on getting the parameters right, but as the tool is right now, it can input a line and turn that into what you see now. So now the showcase, so let's jump into Houdini. 
So uh, right off the bat, you can see the geometry imported from Unreal. So this is a quick white box I made to have as many uh, shapes as possible. This will probably not be a white box that would show up, but um, I wanted to use it to see, okay, what, how could a potential um, white box look like and what type of shapes do I want to accommodate for? So as you can see, this geometry is kind of triangulated in a very strange way. Uh, there's cracks all over. And when I use this exploded view here, you can see that it isn't very, it wouldn't be usable. So that's the first step I take. So here I clean the geometry. First I scale it down and clean it up. This clipping here happens because certain parts are overlapping. The walls actually have two parts in the same place. So two different grids. Um, which I do here. So this is also flickering and that's because it has a grid. So as you can see this L-shaped room now has even pieces and a flat grid. So this is just clean. There's no lines here and this is used for the corridors. So what it does is it detects intersection between corridors and rooms and makes sure that there's doors formed, which is what this step is for. The next step is adding the instance points. So here you can see the instance points made. Um, these are meant for pillars, walls, arches, basically everything necessary in the um, final result. This would then be imported into the art placement. So for now, I've only done the um, arch placement to kind of prove that there, um, this is the base of it. This will later be expanded to other assets as well. The other assets have already been integrated in here. So here you can see the proof of concept. So it exists out of multiple pieces and can adapt to any length of the line that is input. Um, I'll be going over all of these more in depth in other videos. So thank you for watching and see you in the other videos.